Welcome. In this lecture in Linear Data Analysis, which has multiple sessions, we'll begin our exploration of finding patterns in data. We're going to do this by exploring linear regression, and we'll view it as a problem in projecting a vector space. The main concepts for this lecture are we'll draw a distinction between independent and dependent variables in our data. We'll explore what statistical regression means, and we'll introduce the definition of residual error. Having these, we'll see what linear regression looks like, and we'll explore how data standardization interacts with linear regression. As we go through this lecture, one problem that we can keep in mind is how can we find a linear pattern in some data vectors that we're given? Statistical regression begins with a set of observations, and we'll draw a distinction. We'll have one through n of these, and we'll call them uh, observation type A, and then we'll have observation type C. And we're going to suppose that the A type are independent and experimentally controllable. They not, may not be statistically independent of each other, but they're independent in some sense. And in another sense that matters importantly, the observation C will be dependent. So typically, in an experiment, these would be things that an experimenter can control, and these are things that an experimenter can observe. Regression is to relate the independent variables and the dependent variables by using some kind of underlying function. And we're going to say that this function has an argument, uh, which is a vector, and it's a vector of weights. And what we'll suppose is that we have some function that uses the observations and uses the weights and gives us an approximation of the uh, dependent variable. So the actual value, value is C, and the model is F computed from the other independent observations and from our weight vector. And these parameters are what we're going to try to find. A critical part of understanding regression is a residual error, and this is very simply the difference between the actual value and the model value. So suppose that we have data that are fixed, and what that means is that the error will depend on the weight parameters that we use in our model. So what we'll do is we'll define for the ith observation, we'll define the ith error, which is a function of the weights, as the difference between the dependent value, the dependent observation, and our model of the independent observations and the weight vector that we're using. So we can then gather these into, we can gather each of these individual errors for each observation, and we can gather them into a vector. And let's observe that each one of these is a potentially nonlinear function if we're doing nonlinear regression. And they, each entry of the error vector depends on the same weight vector, the same weight parameters that we're using. And we'll have an error for every observation, beginning at observation 1 and ending at observation m.